Hey beer friends, so we are back with another beer drop video because you know it's a subscription so I get it once a month. Unless I skip the month, which you can do if you get it. You are allowed to skip the month. But I got mine this month and here's the review. So I've got this Eldorado APA from Finkel and Garf. It is purple and orange. I actually don't mind these colors together. Tropic King, which is an Imperial Saison Ale from Funk Works. Got Naughty Maryland from Crystal Springs Brewing Company and it's a Belgian style. Got Tangerine Cream by Station 26 Brewing. And then I've got this Czech Dark from Brews. So I've got quite a few different styles and I'm very excited that they're all so different. Which is usually what you can get with Beer Drop. I like to have a variety because I'm kind of all over the place. I'll drink any kind of beer. But you can go in and edit it if there's a specific style you don't like. Also get boxes that are just one type of style. So they really do cater to you which is super cool. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the Eldorado APA from Finkel and Garf. It is also a limited release. And this one, the description is aromatic, bright, and citrus, and it is four and a half percent. Ooh, she's a little peachy colored. I enjoy that. I about poured this whole glass and then realized I have four more beers to try. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, she smells good. Ooh. Yeah, I can definitely taste the Eldorado hop. Yeah, those are Eldorado hops. Oh my god. It's good though. I was just, I haven't had an IPA in a while, so it's like that was, whew. oh wow, that's fucking good. Oh shit. For me not having an IPA for a while, this is ooh, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely like four out of five on Untapped. Definitely. Ooh, yeah, this is really good. Definitely, also has like a peachy flavor to it. How I said it had a peachy color. Definitely has like the peachy like aftertaste to it. Here we go a little dark this time. So let's try the Czech Dark from Brews. This is a crafted locally Belgian influenced, a full flavored dark lager with notes of chocolate and roasted malt, a complex beer that is still light, refreshing, and a low ABV so you can enjoy several. That's what I like to hear <laughs> so I can have more than one. Bottom also says delivering badassery to your glass, which is nice and cool. Oh yeah, she's nice and dark. Definitely a dark brown though, you can tell. I can, from my angle, since my background is black, so this probably looks black, it's definitely like a really pretty like dark brown. What the hell up? Oh my god, that smells so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. And it is. It's so light. Yes, Bruce, you did a fucking fantastic job with this. Definitely like f like 475 out of 5. It has a little bit of a weird aftertaste, but it doesn't last for very long. So highly recommend. I'm going to try the Tangerine Cream from Station 26 next. So it is Tangerine and Vanilla Bean. And I think that is all that's on it. And it's 5.2%. Yeah, there's not really a description. So tangerine and vanilla. Hopefully it's good. Ooh, she is clear. Let's see through that. Well, not really. Oh my God. It smells literally like an orange creamsicle. Oh my God. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, now for the taste test. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you know sometimes it smells better than it tastes. Oh! Immaculate. Oh my god. It's fantastic! Oh yeah, 5 out of 5. 100%. Yeah. Oh my god. Station 26, you're doing a good job with this. This is fantastic. Next, I'm going to try Naughty Marilyn from Crystal Springs, and it is a Belgian style ale at 8.2%. And the little descriptor on the back is Naughty Marilyn is a marriage of flavors spice, citrusy fruit, alcohol. She's temptingly drinkable yet devious. If you have one, you'll want another. It's a good thing I have another. All right. 
It actually does have a bit of a peach color to it, not as much as the APA did, but it's definitely there, at least. From my eyesight, you can you can see that it's a little peachy, which would make sense if there's citrusy in it. Yeah, she smells Belgian, that's for sure. Oh, she smells good. I can smell the citrus. Slancha. Oh my god. So good, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god. Guys, literally so good. Oh my god. You can literally taste, like, the citrus. Oh. Oh man. This is good. 8.2% though. That scares me. I definitely could probably only have one. <laughs> or maybe two. Definitely a four and a half out of, mmm, 475 out of five on untapped. Oh, ooh, it's like so good it gives you like tingles, mmm. It also could be the fact that it's 8.2% and it's just the alcohol making me warm, but the next up is the Tropic King Imperial Saison from Funk Works, and it is tropical, fruity, and hoppy, and it says it pairs well with hula hooping. All right then. Ooh, she's pretty. I like that. Sorry, I shows my fucking hands in the way. Oh, she's pretty. I like that color. Definitely smells hoppy, which is interesting. I mean, it said it's supposed to be hoppy, but that's all I can really smell is that it's hoppy. So, slancha. Ooh. Hmm. I feel like I just got like a million different flavors all at once. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. I don't hate it. Like I could probably drink this. Like I wouldn't go for this knowing how it tastes. Maybe give it like a two and a half out of five. Like it's definitely a Saison. It's also definitely an Imperial Saison. But I don't know. It's just Maybe it's just not my jam today. Like, like I said, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know, maybe, it's, again, maybe it's just not on my palate today. I've also clearly had four other beers. So yeah, sorry Funk Works, it's just not, not my fave today. As for favorites, I would, it's a toss up between the Naughty Maryland and the Czech Dark. I honestly can't decide. And I know I said I put the Tangerine Cream at five, but like, as for like favorites go, like I'm more of a Belgian lager type of person, so I'm like, these... Are definitely I don't know it might be the naughty Marilyn honestly that one was super good all right guys as always I hope you enjoyed this review of beer drop highly recommend getting a subscription from them it's all local Colorado breweries which I think is super cool because they have a really good beer scene there and of course if you liked the video give it a like subscribe watch my other videos Definitely follow me on my other social media. I'll put it down in the description. And also in the comments, let me know if there's a specific beer or a specific style you want me to do a review on or a specific brewery you want me to do a review on. Because I'll do it. I will. I want to try all the beers everywhere. And speaking of trying things, if you want me to try other things, like alcohol-wise, I'm totally down. Because I found out that Jameson has all these other whiskeys and I'm very interested because I love Jameson. I also will be trying the Bud Light Ugly Sweater seltzers because they sound interesting and everyone I know has said they love them so I will be doing a video on that but like I said subscribe if you want to see it and I will see you guys next time